Hello, peoples of interwebs. It's I, Rob Tacklebox. I'm looking all sexy. I know my new dick is over, overalls. Yeah, overalls. Just look at that. Oh, yeah. Check it out. The back pose. Yeah, I like these things here. They're very freeing, if you know what I mean. I might, might be necking under the bottom half, baby. You're welcome for that disturbing image. That's why we have alcoholic beverages in our life. And I've been looking for this one. It wasn't that hard to find, but it was apparently at, at the Walmart. They had the wall of it hidden in plain sight. That's what my pappy tells me. But anyway, finally got me some. And after this here twisted tea, made with real brewed tea, twisted tea, high, hard, iced tea, original. And I ain't had one of these tea drinks since I did the, uh, the Bud Light uh, tea thing. It was all right. It tasted straight up like a uh, Lipton, you know, powdered, that powdered tea. Remind me, my grandma always had that powdered, you just add a scoop to your glass and make you some instant tea. That's what it tastes like. We're gonna see if this ain't different. I've heard good things. It says, show us how you unwind with a twist. And it's got Samantha and Damien and Kyle and Kyle and Fair Hilt uh, VT. Got a picture of some folks on there. Get your picture on the can, apparently. That fucking picture on the can looks like a 1993 uh, uh, fucking Yahoo fucking webcam picture or some shit. Pixelated is motherfucker. Or it looks like one of them video game pictures where you're in the game and you look up on the wall somewhere and zoom in. There's some kind of picture of the creators or some shit. Anyway, way, submit your own Twisted Tea photo at www.twistedtea.com. Hell, I need to be on there, son. And you pick up one of these twisted tees and see old tackle box on there, showing the guns. Oh yeah, running wild. I'd do it too. Or I should. Uh, hashtag unwind with a twist. That's how they did that right there. If you can focus on that, I don't know. Uh, the, the, the government warnings, horse shit. Uh, 19, I mean, 2018 Twisted Tea Brewing Company. Uh, Cincinnati, Ohio, Bring Bringersfield, PA, uh, Latrope, PA, and La Crosse, Wisconsin, I think, WI or Washington, what the hell. Uh, lordy, 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 let's see what else we got. Malt beverage with select teas and natural flavors. Let's just crack this open and see what it's all about. See how twisted, twisted tea makes us. Uh. Well, it smells like tea and lemon. Got my little Rob glass. That's my name. Ask me again, I'll tell you the same. As you can see, it looks like tea. It's already fooling the good people. Well, I've heard things that taste just like regular tea, but I don't believe them. Us Bammy people take our tea pretty dang serious. Serious. Serious XM. I'll be down. That does taste almost just like a regular tea. They've, I think I can detect it on the aftertaste, the lemon. Because it smells like lemon tea. It smells like tea with a good bit of lemon in it. Uh, the lemon taste to it kind of hides the alcoholic uh, laugh, you know, aftertaste you should get in anything like this. Any kind of flavored usually tastes just like Kool-Aid, just like tea, just like whatever. And then you get that little ooh, of alcohol it goes away after you drink a few of them just like your sanity but uh yeah uh, it's got that but the lemon like kind of perfectly mask it so you don't really taste it, it just tastes like the bitter the bitter sourness of the lemon well i'm liking this this is some buck wild shit here this just tastes like regular tea it's, i guarantee you this will probably give you heartburn like some bitch after a while but you can get them down and hold up and hold your lunch these are good, these are good chuggers right here. You'd be like, hey, 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 hey. Hey, Aunt Bay, give me another glass of that tea. Where's that tea at? I swear to God, I'm just drinking the Lipton. I don't know what you're talking about. I ain't seen Opie, he was behind that shed last time. I, he was behind the she shed, you know, back there. Fucking bitch barn, if you ask me, but. I can't take credit for that one. 
awesome meme on the interwebs there. It says, is it really, a, something like, is it really a, a sea shed, a she shed, or is it a bitch barn? I like bitch barn myself. I know a girl that needs a bitch barn. She's got a little bitch barn, but she'd like a bitch barn. Nah, that's pretty good, though. That's what they did. They did mask the alcohol taste very well with that lemon. You can kind of pick it up on the very last or a good belch or just like your... Mm, it's all Copperstone kid Mama K over there talking about the... And wine people do that shit too. That does, there's something to that. You can't get some flavors you can taste for. I'm learning a little bit about this tasting thing and all this beer stuff. I've drank beer for a long fucking time, but you watch all these uh, professional people or hell, even people just been reviewing longer and they're doing all this. I detect a, I detect a god dang pine cone flavoring with a, a hint of holy water and all this shit and you're drinking it over there and like, it kind of tastes piney, but I don't take shit more than that. One thing I ever tasted in an IPA was a was a pine. It's either tastes like pine or it tastes like grapefruit citrus type taste. That's it. And then, then they got like it has 18,000 cloves or whatever. You know, they have all these things you're supposed to taste. I ain't tasting shit. It's either usually really grapefruity or really piney. And I have ran into the combo. That was the tastiest one. I mean, not really that tasty because, I mean, I drink beer. I'm not particularly looking for either one. They're not bad, don't get me wrong. But I'm more of an American lager type guy because I'm a redneck or what have you. I don't mind those others though. I ain't paying the overpriced for them, and uh, most of them are usually way alcoholic. They're usually at least eight percent, and I just don't try to. I usually drink a good many, at least drink a twelve pack or so. So I'm not fucking drinking twelve pack of eight percenters and 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 waking up naked in the neighbor's garage, something or lawn or some shit. God knows, I mean, I'm too old for that shit. Like my friend, he drank like four or four locos and woke up down the street and face down in some old lady's yard and her going, hey, sonny, okay, you awake? He told me about that shit. I have drank four or four locos in one sitting before and I lived. I do not recommend that shit. Two four locos is the maximum anybody needs to be drinking on in a day. I mean, you can drink more, don't get me wrong. I can drink more than four, but it's the after effects is what gets you. Not even while you're going. The next day, you will be dead. You'll be like you drank some car cooling or some shit. Four Loco's like the devil. That shit. I still love Four Loco. Shout out Four Loco. But you got it. it's a hell of a drug, as Rick James said. Ah. And these are. Oh, by the way, this is original flavor. 12 ounce cans, and it's 5% alcohol by volume. So this is. Got more in the Bud White, or right out like, you know, most Bud Lights and all, most everything has like 4.2 or 4 point something. These have got 5%, so they're not sissy. They're right there at the good point for me. I like around that. Ice beer is about as high as I like to drink on constantly. It's like 6%. Uh, yeah, so I like that. Let's grab another one. I'm just rambling today, man. Ain't got shit to do. Got me some, some twisted teas. You can get twisted with these, I tell you. <coughs> these are the easiest chugging thing I've ran into so far. Uh, they should be over, you'll be over here next thing you know, posing to yourself, doing the doing the Patrick Swayze Roadhouse Feng Shui Kung Fu shit. You'll think you look like Patrick Swayze too, but you'll look like me. That's the reality of it, folks. Like I just stepped out of the 1980s Shriners Temple Backyard Wrestling Bonanza. Those are real. You ever been to a Shriners uh, club? They got over here. I hadn't been in fucking 20 years or so, but they have the Shriners Temple over here, and they have wrestling. And it's like the oldest people. It's like my it's like my dad out there in the fucking swing with <laughs> wrestling everybody. And it's funny as shit, man. They 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 film this shit for TV for local TV or cable, wherever the hell they put it. I don't even know where it ends up. They got these 70 something year old men out there wrestling in like little, you know, speedos and sling, whatever, you know, shit they wore back when they wrestled. These are good, these used to be the big names too. They got the All America, uh, what the hell, uh, I'll think of it in a minute. Big names back in the Armstrong brothers, all these, all these people. And, uh, 
you know, they have these some bitches out there, and you're there live. So what they're doing, they're taping these shows. So these old, these old bastards come out and do a pretty good show. I mean, hell, the fact they can get out there is good at this point. They're doing shit it hurt me to do. And then they go back. You know, whoever wins wins. They usually they're using the bottle caps to die. All the old school, the old real good wrestling. You know, it used to be entertaining. Uh, they did that. They do that, and then they go out behind the stage, which you can see behind from most seats. And some bitches are over there eating hot dogs and shit at the concession stand. Then they come right back out 30 minutes, like two, or, you know, hour, whatever, a few matches later, and then act like it's another night because they're filming the shit and you're there. So it's funny as fuck because they're redoing, like, you're seeing the acting and it's prime. And then the, the, these events, they'll have a, they always have, like, one dude that was just in WWE or, you know, older guy, but he just retired, like one of them guys that just got out of the big name business and now. He's like the main attraction event, and it's hilarious. And they put him up against some guy that weighs fucking 120 pounds. It's local, or some you know some young guy that's a up and comer. You know, that's how you get. That's how they do in that business. And I'm not hating on him, but it's hilarious. They have like Scott Steiner versus fucking Todd from from Jiffy Lube or somewhere. It, it's great shit in any which way. But uh, that's what I feel like in this in this get up. I like it though. Oh yeah. I ain't doing all that wrestling bullshit. I, I, we used to do that backyard crap. One really wrestling. It was just hitting each other with fucking shit and getting hurt or choke slamming people. And and uh, my friend was really good at the reaction shit. I'd smash him into a car or something. He could do that hit knock off. You know, like he really got, he could sell it very well. I couldn't do that mess very good, but I just played the, the, the big big feller part. Uh, I just I just like cutting the promos. I'd love to, I need to be a manager, man. I love doing that stupid all the, they don't do that anymore either, man. They ain't got any good fucking talkers that I've seen. I ain't watched in a while. <sighs> what are you going on? 12. Got to check the time because otherwise I'll be here like two days later if I'm going to upload this some bitch from my phone. Yeah, but what's it all? Some of y'all's favorite wrestlers. There's a subject matter. I, of course, like the classics. I can't go wrong with Hulk Hogan, man. I grew up on the Hulkster. I know he's like the epitome of wrestling. Macho Man, of course. Hulk and Macho Man just go together for me, but brother. Brother, I even I get them confused when I'm going wild. I just, I combine them and make them one brother, man. They're the most ultimate person. But uh, yeah, them, a fucking Andre the Giant, of course, just a spectacle of a man. I love the big, I always love the big wrestlers. New York, of course, Undertaker, Kane. Big Show, Sid, uh, Sid Vicious, I don't know if fucking, yeah, Vicious, Sid, that dude's just scary looking, uh, fuck Goldberg, everybody, a lot of people have a problem with Goldberg, back in the day, WCW day, Goldberg, I'm talking, that was everywhere, dude, Goldberg was one scary looking motherfucker, I love Brock Lesnar now, a bunch of people hate him, the dude's just fucking freakishly strong, he's, he could whoop everybody's ass in there for real, scary dude. I seen him pick a dude up like that, like a grown man. He picked him up like a suitcase, like a baby, like fucking Arnold does in T2 with the baby. Lesnar picked up. It'd be that fucking strong, dude. I don't care if steroids or not. He probably just down to fucking eight, uh, 18, 24 pack of twisted tea. He got one of the twisted, I want the twisted tea keg thing. I'm going to try to drink one of those. Uh, I need, I don't think they have them around here. Somebody can get me a twisted tea keg. I'm going to try to like in a sitting drink it. Same people on this can too. It's gimmick. Two different people on every can. I'm gonna quit this video though and start another one, just rambling, talking on this shit. But I uh, appreciate you watching and get you some damn twisted tea, son. It's good stuff. Try it. And they got other flavors too. If I can get a hold of some, I'm going to. But uh, I had our time. I mean, we got this. This is why our Walmart carries early on the site. It's just the original and, and 12 pack. Some bitches like 15. It was 17 something dollars for tax for a 12 pack. So yeah, fuck that. But uh, y'all go out and try you some. Try you some. The camera's over here today. Hey, <laughs> flip my phone around. But anyway, y'all try you some. I'll be right back.